Hello everyone, this is Jim Okrasinski with this week's lecture video. So during the screencast video, I discussed at length the essay assignment and also the two sections in the textbook about writing a literacy narrative. And I just need to emphasize that this is a literacy narrative. It is about your past um, experiences in literacy. Uh, reading, writing, language. Um, this is a narrative, so it, should, it has, you know, these experiences need to be embedded in a story, usually in a chronological ordering. Once again, I'm covering the, the basics of the essay assignment. So this is about your literacy life. This is not an essay about literacy, okay? You can't tell me about what it's like to write about a topic that was assigned to you because that's not the assignment, all right? So the idea here is, is for everyone to understand that this is about your literacy life. It is a narrative, much like Mickey wrote about the literacy events in her life and where she was at what point in time in her life and how it progressed. So this is a literacy narrative. I want to be clear about that. If you want to tell me all about literacy and be really abstract, I mean, you can write it. It just, unfortunately, it just probably will not grade very well. So think about that as we move into our uh, discussion board number five, the essay example analysis is where we will perform a rhetorical analysis, as I say here, rhetorical analysis uh, about some of the student examples. So let's get over to the textbook at the end of the literacy uh, unit there. Um, is a bookmark. I bookmarked this uh, chapter to take you down to the appendix. So I provide an overview and uh, a framework to look at uh, some of the student essays that I use as examples. Not everyone is perfect. There are no perfect student essays uh, for the literacy narrative because generally this is a COM 101 structure course. And it is the first essay assignment. There are some really good essays out there. I've grabbed a couple of them that can demonstrate how some students decided to um, attack the topic of a literacy narrative. So one thing you want to be aware of is when you review these uh, examples is look at the document, the visual appearance for formatting. It comes really handy on how to format your particular um, um, essay assignment. Review how the writer opened the essay and the introduction. Look at the introduction. Did they answer the five W's? You get a sense of the main point of the essay, okay? Take a look at the organizational structure of that example. Like for example, the literacy narrative, we talk about being in a chronological order because it's a narrative, right? When we get to the, the proposal essay, there's a problem solution format for that proposal argument. So, um, we won't, I won't get into principles of citation because that's not required here. Also, how does the, uh, uh, the writer close the essay? So these are some of the ideas and, uh, that you can use and kind of use this as a framework to review the student's essay. So the first uh, particular essay I have here is really an interesting uh, literacy narrative where the student uh, talks about uh, love of poetry. All right, the opening here could, uh, it really kind of answers the five W's in my mind. Obviously this short paragraph and also this, uh, uh, the second paragraph could be joined together um, in one solid dynamic opening. But the writer goes on to demonstrate how um, her grandmother um, loved books and um, got her interested in reading poetry. She takes it through the chronological ordering when she was younger, talks about specific uh, poetry books and situations that her grandmother and her shared. Really some vivid language here, some great di you know, not dialogue, but really some descriptive language in describing uh, the scenes there. You get a sense of being there, right, with her and her grandmother. So um, she does continue on. You could say in some ways, um, as life progressed, um, grandma played a significant role and until she passed away, um, you can read through and discover that she did get all of her grandma left her of the 56 uh, poetry books, right? So the idea here is, is you may think that in some ways this may be a life story and, and, and 
you know, it appears that way on the surface, but if you really dig into it, one event leads to the next. Talked about the books that her grandma left her, and then there was this transition here to where um, she uh, really uses Instagram um, as a um, method to take the poetry and what she learned from her grandmother and just use it in today's context. So my issue here was, yeah, it's a little bit like a life story, but it is so well constructed and put together and connects the poetry to the social media site um, was really kind of, I thought, a fascinating literacy narrative. For one, for one particular reason was is that reading and writing and thinking about poetry and words really does come into play in today's social media world. And you get many students who want to be influencers or make money on the internet. That's great, but you have to be able to understand how uh, to write and make those connections, all right? So while uh, I think this is an excellent literacy narrative, it is not perfect, but nonetheless, it gives you an example of how uh, one student uh, handled this particular assignment, all right? The next one uh, is literally literacy, which is uh, basically about college writing. And I think it's also a very good example of the literacy narrative, right? So, and remember, it is a narrative and it's not you telling me all about literacy. So I think it's a very important distinction. Oftentimes I get students who will tell me all about literacy, but not write about their experiences and their narrative. And that's just not the assignment here, right? So let's go back to love letters and think about how Mickey, um, how she um, used that literacy narrative to um, find out the purpose and audience in her life. And you get a sense of, yes, I was right in there with that jail or you were in those classes, all right? So this provides a lens for you to work on the rhetorical analysis here. Much of the writing prompts here are very similar to what I offer in the um, introduction to the appendix there. So I'm looking for a good uh, rhetorical analysis, okay? Um, and answering the questions and uh, just looking at how a couple of students handle this particular assignment. All right, that's all I have for the lecture video today. So please um, take a good look at these and think about your literacy narrative experiences. Thank you. Have a good day. Be safe out there.